I'm making a quick YouTube video. Um, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to show this off. I'm using Walmart.com <clears throat> to print photos. Um, it's pretty neat and pretty handy. If you go on Walmart's website, um, you can click on their photo. You can actually have them delivered to your house, or you can pick them up in one hour uh, at your local Walmart. It has a thing on there to let you select. All you do is go on the photo thing and can go through the steps of uploading photos. Um, we're printing off some photos for an album and selected about 66 photos. Um, and it's uploading them this fast. I did this yesterday for another photo album and it worked very conveniently. Um, we've got an account with Walmart and it goes ahead and when you click the pay thing it just goes ahead and sends it on your card. Um, I just went to the store when I went out to go get some, get some groceries anyway and stopped by there and they were like, okay, here you go, and handed it to me in an envelope. It already said paid on it and everything. Came home, the pictures look great. Um, <clears throat> I'm uploading these. You see how fast it's going? Now see, when I was a kid, we used to have to take photos on film and then go to the store and, and you know put them in an envelope and write your name and address and phone number on there. and. It took two weeks for them to go off to a lab where they printed out, and then somewhere along the way they come out with, you know, the the faster uh, the faster uh, film printing, you know, where you could drop it off and come back in an hour, and then they came out with the Polaroid that would, you know, as soon as you snap it, this little thing would come out, and you'd you'd shake it, and then wait a little bit of time, and it would develop, and you know, digital kind of advanced along the way, and it used to be you could you know, go to the store and hook your little device up to a printer and print them out. And now you don't even have to leave your house. I mean, you could just do it all from your house. <clears throat> you see how quickly it's loading these pictures. I mean, it's unbelievable. And you can also select to print them off in different sizes. Yesterday, I printed off most of our pictures on a four by six, but I printed off one as a five by seven. And it was just as simple as going down the list and clicking off how many how many of which size you wanted. And I didn't even have to reselect them or reload them or anything. It was already in there. It was about as smooth as you could expect to get pictures from the internet. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit more expensive if you pick them up in the store in one hour processing. You can have them delivered to your house, and it takes about a week. Um, but the price is a lot cheaper, you know, in case you don't live near Walmart. But you know, this is just one more thing, one more way that. You know, Walmart's using technology to really get a, a, a good hold on what the American public wants, and it's really smart. I mean, golly, I'm already at 60% here. Look at it grow. God, this is just amazing. Anyway, I figured I'd share this in case any of y'all out there are, you know, maybe thinking about doing something like this. Here's proof positive that it works, and it works really well. See, it's even, it's even picking up speed now. I'm up to 72%. Impressive. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all for now. Have a great day. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about this for a second because I did this yesterday and realized that I made a mistake. On here, it shows uh, convert 4 to 6 to true digital. And true digital, I guess, is the image that you see inside of your camera. And I thought that true digital meant that you got to see more of the picture. Because if you see here on the left, see how it's got the little man with his head cut off and the little baby with his face cut off. And over here it shows that you see plenty of the baby and plenty of the man's head. I thought that it was saying that if you select this, that you get the full picture. What they're actually showing you is, is that the size is different. The true, the true, visual, the true digital is 4 up and down, but only 5.3 across, where it's supposed to be 4 by 6. So, it's actually giving you a shorter picture with the true digital. We did this yesterday when we did a film, when we did a, um, a frame, and those pictures were too small for the openings that we had, and my wife had to get kind of creative with fixing them. So, just with that in mind, uh, whenever you select these, if you want the full 4x6s, make sure that you get the 4x6s. See, it says, do you wish to change it, change the true digital, or don't change? I'm clicking the don't change. Okay, now I got to sign in. Anyway, I just want to show you that in case y'all are talking about it and thinking about it and now you know.
Okay, thanks.